Right, and we are all set. So guys, welcome back to the channel. And what you're seeing right here is the JBL Bar 1300 soundbar. It is probably the craziest flagship soundbar from JBL that I have ever seen here. And there's a lot of amazing features that I want to share with you guys today after experiencing it for about a month. So the JBL Bar 1300 is a 11.1.4 channel soundbar that has a total power output of 1170 watts, which is a really crazy power output even for a living room. Now, this is a Dolby Atmos soundbar as would have already expected and it matches other competitors out there. But what makes this soundbar really unique here is that it has this rear detachable speakers that can also work as standalone speakers. Now, this is the very first time that I've seen soundbars like this with standalone detachable speakers and they actually sound really great. Now, before I get into the details of the JBL Bar 1300 and show you how it works, let's take a look at the hardware itself. Now, as you can see, when I carry this soundbar into the scene just now, it is a very lengthy soundbar. So you gotta really make sure that you have a big size TV or you have enough of cabinet space for you to place this soundbar because it is really going to take up space. Now, let's take a look at inputs. So the JBL Bar 1300 uses a two-pin power cord connector and it really has a built-in power supply, so you do not need to have any adapter bulb hanging outside of your TV cabinet. You get a USB-A port, which for JBL Bar 1300's purchase outside of the US, it can only be used for service or firmware upgrades. You get a gigabit Ethernet port, which is good if you do not want to use wireless connection. You get three HDMI ports that supports 4K Dolby Vision pass-through, which is great if you are worried of using up a HDMI port on your TV and it gives you three more of them. And JBL hasn't mentioned what version of HDMI that this soundbar used, but I'm assuming it's HDMI 2.1 because it supports the HDMI EARC protocol. And aside from one HDMI out, you also get an optical input if you actually want to do that, but that's actually not necessary for such a high-end soundbar. As for these rear detachable speakers, each of them come with a 6,600 mAh battery that offers up to 12 hours of music playback. And that is very impressive considering its size. And even though it looks really small, I can guarantee you that it plays very, very powerful sound and way better than some portable speakers of its size. Now, you get a total of three buttons on the back here. For the first one is the soundbar connection, which you will need to press when connected back to the soundbar. And the next one is Bluetooth. And speaking of Bluetooth, the soundbar and the rear detachable speakers have their respective Bluetooth versions. The soundbar itself has Bluetooth 5.0, whereas the rear detachable speakers uses Bluetooth 5.2. And there's a good reason for that because these two speakers can connect to each other wirelessly to create a stereo sound effect. And finally, you get a power button as well as a USB-C port for charging. Now, there's a mount right over here which you can mount it onto a supported stand. If you happen to have that, it doesn't work on our camera, tripods and all that, so I can't show you at all. So basically, when you have this rear speaker calibrated with the soundbar and you want to create a, a surround effect you basically just place this rear speakers on a table like you need to have a small table right behind your couch and you put them on it and it will create a really nice surround effect when you are watching movies now let's move on to the woofer now this is a really large 10 inch woofer and I can tell it's really crazy look at how big it is it is super heavy and there's nothing much about it in terms of features and all that it's just a woofer and what you get here is just a pairing button as well as another two pin power connector so the woofer and the soundbar they all work wirelessly which is a really great thing now I'm going to play a song through the detachable rear speakers here for you guys to hear how well they sound. So currently we already paired them in stereo mode and it is really easy to pair them all together and all you need to do is to just hold and press the Bluetooth button on the back for 5 seconds. You need to press on both speakers at the same time for 5 seconds until a connected tone is being played and it is connected successfully. And what I really like when you place it vertically is that it has a rubber feet, rubber surface, as, as you can see here, even though it's like glossy, but it is in fact a rubber surface that kind of status it when you place it vertically. But as for now, we're just gonna place it right on the table like this, flat. As you can see, it already has four rubber feet here. We're just gonna place them like that. And now I'm just gonna play a song called Anyway by LED Monster and G Curtis. It is a copyright free song and let's do it right now. Hey, love you 
from the first time you called me late Loved you from your whips and your weekend games yeah. Always on my mind, always in my Guys, brain We did this when we came and went in the Just day Here, the real detachable speakers are already cranking out some serious volume and bass even at just 50% volume on my smartphone and that is even without the help of the main unit as well as the subwoofer so this is a really great use case if you want to just detach one of them take it into your room and play some music it actually works really well now, we have moved the JBL Bar 1300 to our home entertainment setup in the office here. Now, I know not everyone uses such kind of furniture for your home, but this is basically an 8 feet IKEA table. And this is how the JBL Bar 1300 fits under a 65 inch TV. And if you have a TV of this size, it actually fits pretty well, as you can see right now. So you get a LED display on the JBL Bar 1300 to tell you the status of the speaker. So currently we are on mute. And once we unmute it, and this is how it shows the volume. And you can actually switch between different sources by pressing on the remote here. You've got HDMI, Bluetooth, TV, and there's even a Dolby volume here that you can press on it. It goes from low, mid to high. And finally, you can adjust the bass levels as well. Now it's currently on level four, level five. So the strongest is up to level 5, which I can tell you the bass is simply impressive. Very nice rumbling bass from the subwoofer, okay? So you can even adjust the rear speaker volume if you want to. Now, currently it is docked to the soundbar, which is why you can do anything. But once you detach it and put it on the back, you can just press this button to adjust the volume of the rear speakers. More features and configurations of the soundbar can be found on the JBL One app, which is what you're seeing right here. So this soundbar is a Wi-Fi enabled soundbar, which you can use it for Alexa Multiroom, Google Chromecast, and Spotify Connect, which you can easily stream your content wirelessly over Wi-Fi. All right, so let's just head on over to the settings here to see what you can do. So as you can see, you can control the music playback of the soundbar through the app and there's in-app music here. So these are the services that it supports in-app. It supports Amazon Music, Tidal, TuneIn, and yep, Tidal, Dolby Atmos is supported on the JBL Bar 1300. And you get a really simple looking equalizer here. It's unfortunately not a eight band or 10 band equalizer, but for sound bars, this is the kind of setting that you get and it works straightforward enough. So you get to adjust the bass, mids, and the trebles. And if you happen to be missing the remote control, you can just press on this to control the soundbar if you want to. It has basically the same layout as your soundbar's remote control here, all right? So you get a real detachable speaker setting here, which will be enabled once you detach them. And there's this calibration setting, which you will need to access when you take out the real detachable speakers and place it on the back. And it will do all the calibration by itself to create the perfect surround setup, all right? So you get some other things such as product settings here, which is something that you probably don't need to do after a one-time setup. Finally, let's hear how the JBL Bar 1300 sounds like. Now, I know this is not an accurate or professional test at all because we are just using a boom microphone to record sound from the JBL Bar 1300. So make sure you put on your headphones right now to hear how the JBL Bar 1300 sounds like because we are just gonna play a couple of music as well as movie trailers, but the visuals is gonna be frozen on the TV just for copyright purposes. So let's get onto it right now. Why should we buy the gold disc, original, and not the purple disc, DVD-R? Why should we buy the gold
So there you have it. This is the JBL Bar 1300, which is a very impressive and versatile sound bar that I highly recommend that you go check it out. It is priced for 8,000 ringgit in Malaysia and considering all the features and versatility that you get on this sound bar, it is worth the consideration if you're thinking to get a really high-end soundbar for your home entertainment setup. So that's all for my thoughts on the JBL Bar 1300. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you have any questions related to your home entertainment setup, if you're considering this pair of soundbar, let me know about them in the comments down below as well. And as for now, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos coming right up. And I'll see you guys in the next one.